This tutorial will show you how to use PowerDirector's new Ease Out and Ease In feature, which adds acceleration and deceleration to make the movements of titles and other objects more realistic. Let's start with the PIP Designer, and we'll use keyframes to set this arrow in motion. Click on the Add Keyframe button to set the starting point, then drag the scrubber to the end of the clip and move the arrow to the ending position. When you're finished, the arrow moves like this, going from standing still to full speed, then back to a full stop. With the new Ease Out and Ease In feature, PowerDirector can accelerate objects or titles from motionless to full speed and back in a realistic manner using Bezier curves. There are two ways to access the new effect. The first is to click on the Properties tab and expand Object Settings. You can also enable or disable the effect by right-clicking on a keyframe and setting or clearing the checkmark. Ease Out refers to the starting point. Your object is going to ease out and away from there, building up speed as it goes. You can only enable Ease Out if there is at least one keyframe following this one. Ease In refers to the ending point. You can only select this option if there is at least one keyframe preceding this one. Your object is going to ease in to the ending position, slowing down as it gets closer. For keyframes in the middle, both options are available. You can change the effect setting in the object settings window by adjusting the slider or by setting a specific number from 1.00 to 0.01. The closer to zero, the less noticeable the effect is, while higher numbers mean that the object will spend more time near the starting or ending point and will move faster in between. Here are some examples with different settings. You'll probably want to experiment to find the best setting for your project. Note that Ease Out and Ease In interact with each other, and you may find that only one is needed especially if it's set to a high value. If you've ever used the Motion tab for titles or PIP objects, you've seen Bezier curves. The original templates let you move an object or title in one of these paths, but the new ones also change the speed at which the objects move. It's easy to work with these path templates, and you can use them as is or customize them as you wish. You can also create a new path from scratch, like in this example using Title Designer. With the scrubber at the beginning of the clip, move the text to the starting point, in this case, off the screen to the lower right. Click on the Add Keyframe button, then drag the scrubber to the end of the clip and move the text to the ending position. Now click on the Motion tab, but instead of choosing one of the templates, Click and drag the green path line into a curved path, which is a Bezier curve for motion. Without Ease Out or Ease In, the motion looks like this. Now select the ending keyframe. Then click on the Text tab and scroll to Object Settings. Click the Ease In box and set the slider to 0.95. Now the motion looks like this. If there are multiple keyframes on a path, you can choose to use Ease Out, Ease In, or None at each point, depending on how you want the motion to look. For this clock, we'll select a diamond path from the Motion tab. Without the Ease Out or Ease In boxes checked, the clock moves like this. Now select the second keyframe and go to the Properties tab. Under Object Settings, click Ease In and set it to 0.70. Duplicate these settings to the next three keyframes. And the clock's motion now looks like this. 
Here are more examples using Ease Out and Ease In. You can also use the Ease Out and Ease In feature to change the speed of video clips. The Video Speed Power Tool has been redesigned to make complex speed changes very easy. Select the clip in the timeline, then click Tools and choose Power Tools. Check the Video Speed box and click on Speed Adjustment. The Video Speed Designer tool opens, showing the entire clip tab. But to use the Ease Out and Ease In feature, click on the selected Range tab. Place the scrubber at the starting point where you want to change the speed, then click on Create Time Shift. A yellow window shows the area that will be sped up or slowed down. And you can drag the right edge of the yellow frame to where you want the speed to return to normal. You can drag either end freely as needed, even after setting the speed. There are two ways to set the new speed. One is to enter a new duration and the selected section will run at whatever speed is needed to last that long. You can also drag the slider or type in a speed multiplier from 0.1x, slow to 1 tenth speed, up to 100x. Once entered, the video speed is shown in the lower left corner of the selection rectangle. To have the clip smoothly transition from normal speed to the new speed, check the Ease Out box to ease out and away from real time. To have the clip smoothly return to normal speed, check the Ease In box because you're easing back in to real time. You can create more time shifts by clicking on the Create Time Shift button again on another part of the clip. You can also delete time shifts by clicking on the trash can icon. Here are a few more examples using Ease Out and Ease In to change video speed. Enhance your videos with realistic motion and smooth speed transitions using Ease Out and Ease In. With PowerDirector, the sky's the limit.